Hello folks, this is Jason Colness with the Cape Cod Times. We are live here on Facebook at Scusset Beach with a very exciting seal release happening right here. The National Marine Life Center staff have been rehabbing a gray seal. Um, the seal's name is Sealfin King. Kind of a play on words with the author Stephen King. Uh, so we're here at Scusset Beach. It is very windy, but stick with us. This is going to be worth it. So again, this is uh, we're live here at the Cape Cod Times. This is Jason Colnos. Our National Marine Life Center uh, staff from Buzzards Bay are about to release a gray seal um, who has been rehabbing at the center since October. And let's see if we can get a little shot of the seal in his cage there. And soon the seal will go back into the ocean. Uh, welcome to our Facebook Live of a seal release here at Scusset Beach on Cape Cod. It's a beautiful sunny day, except it's a little windy. Wind is blowing at about 16 miles an hour. But we do have a good audience down here at the beach. As staff here at the National Marine Life Center get ready to release a gray seal named Sealfin King. Takes a lot of work. There's the seal. Uh, he's been rehabbing uh, since October at the National Marine Life Center in Buzzards Bay. He was found uh, entangled in Chatham earlier this summer. I mean, uh, in October. Broadcasting live here at Scusset Beach on Cape Cod. We're about to see a seal go back into the water after rehabbing since October. And we have quite the crowd gathered here down at the beach to see the seal go off into the ocean. Furious winds today, but we're going to do our best to reduce the wind sound here. But as you can see, National Marine Life Center staff carrying a male gray seal down to the beach. Folks uh, at the National Marine Life Center posted this on Facebook and invited folks to come out here and check out the seal release, particularly veterans here on Veterans Day. For folks just joining us, we're broadcasting live from the Cape Cod Times on Facebook of a seal release here at Scusset Beach. This male gray seal has been rehabbing since October at the National Marine Life Center. If you're just joining us, we're about to uh, see staff at the National Marine Life Center release a seal back into the water here at Scusset Beach. The seal's name is Sealfin King, kind of a play on words on the author Stephen King. Um, he was found in Chatham Harbor, uh, tangled up in a lobster pot. And the International Fund for Animal Welfare Workers disentangled him, but unfortunately he had some swelling and infections on his flipper. So he's been rehabbing at the National Marine Life Center in Buzzards Bay um, since October. This seal was born in January, they tell us. 
and it will soon go right back into the water after this release here. Welcome folks who are just joining us here. We're broadcasting live on the Cape Cod Times Facebook page for a seal release here at Scusset Beach. We have a male gray weanling seal. His name is Sealfin King, kind of a play on words with the author Stephen King. This uh, seal has been rehabbing at the National Marine Life Center since uh, October and uh, he had some flipper issues after being entangled in Chatham and uh, he had an infection and a inflamed flipper and um, they rehabbed him and he's about to go back into the water. This is a partnership between the National Marine Life Center and the International Fund for Animal Welfare to get this seal in good shape to go back into the ocean. We got a big crowd here at Scusset Beach. National Marine Life Center President and Executive Director Kathy Zagzebski is talking to the crowd, telling them more about Sealfin King, uh, this seal that's been rehabbing since October. And he's about to go back into the ocean. It's low tide here at Scusset Beach on Cape Cod. We welcome all of our Facebook audience here. This is very exciting. You don't get to see a seal release every day. It is windy here, folks. Forgive us for, for, for a lot of wind sound. We do have a windscreen on here, but it's blowing at about 16 miles an hour. So it might be a little windy, but it's worth it to stick with us. We're about to see a seal go into the water. And uh, there seem to be over 100 people here.
for folks who are just joining us. We are here at Scusset Beach on Cape Cod. We're about to see a seal release. The seal's name is Sealfin King, kind of a play on words with the author Stephen King. And it's a male seal. He was born in January, a staff at the National Marine Life Center in Buzzards Bay, tell us. And he's been uh, kind of rehabbing there since October after being found entangled in Chatham Harbor in a lobster pot. International Fund for Animal Welfare officials untangled him, brought him down to the National Marine Life Center in Buzzards Bay for rehab in October, where he's been and he's about to be released. Um, they're in a little holding pattern here. It's a very windy day, but a beautiful day here in Cape Cod, as most days are. We're very lucky. Looks like they're about to get into position here and uh, release uh, this gray seal after several weeks, many weeks of rehab at the National Marine Life Center. We'll pan the crowd here and uh, check out all the folks who've come to come down to see the seal release. We've got a lot of young ones, a lot of veterans here on Veterans Day. And I think they're about to release the seal right now. You can see Seal Fin King popping his head out of the crate there. I think he's ready to get back into the ocean. Staff at National Marine Life Center are using these uh, boards as guides to make sure the seal heads where he needs to go into the ocean. The seal was found entangled in Chatham in October and he's been rehabbing his flipper ever since and now he's heading back into the ocean. They've attached a satellite tag to Sealfin King to track his progress. Just joining us, we're broadcasting live here on a very exciting seal release at Scusset Beach. Folks at the National Marine Life Center have successfully rehabbed a gray male seal who was born in January. They call him a weanling seal, and his name is Sealfin King. And they're trying to escort him into the big ocean. This is a very exciting day for the seal. The water is indeed very cold, but this seal is probably used to it.
folks to back up as uh, Sealfin King definitely is a wanderer. He's uh, doing his best to get back in the water, but I can imagine very confused. Looks like Sealfin King has spotted the waves and is headed into the ocean.
around just to make sure he doesn't come back onto the uh, sand here. And we'll kind of show you uh, the crowd here. Kathy, how do you think this seal release went? We're live here on Facebook. Tell us your thoughts. Well, this was uh, kind of an interesting seal release. Sealfin wasn't quite sure he wanted to go. I think he was uh, maybe a little overwhelmed by all the fans that came out to, to see this uh, literary celebrity that we had. Um, as you can see from, from what just happened, seals are wild animals. We recommend that anybody stay clear of them. Today we had our, our trained volunteers out with Crowder boards or herding boards to help keep the public safe and remind Sealfin where he was supposed to go into the water. And I think uh, the, the low tide and the sandbars were a little confusing for him too, but once he, once he figured out the way out, he was pretty psyched to go. And as you can see, he didn't do much. Uh, he, once he got in the water, he, he uh, was eager to leave. And you guys will be able to track his progress. Tell us a little bit about that. So the International Fund for Animal Welfare uh, put a satellite tag on Sealfin that will allow tracking of his progress after he's released. Oh great. And this is one of the biggest uh, seals that you folks have had at the National Marine Life Center, you said, right? He is one of the biggest seals we've ever had. He's the biggest seal, actually. Uh, he weighed in today at 138 pounds, which is a nice, normal, healthy weight for a weanling gray seal of this size. Great, great. So other uh, sounds like a pretty successful seal release today. Absolutely. We're grateful for everyone who came out and uh, everyone who helped to cheer Sealfin on. It was a great day, beautiful day, and happy Veterans Day. Well, thanks so much for inviting us, Kathy. Well done. Everyone on Facebook is giving a thumbs up for the efforts uh, for you and your staff to help this little seal. We appreciate that, Jason. Thanks very much. Thanks for joining us here live for the Cape Cod Time on uh, Facebook. It looks like uh, their celebrity seal, Sealfin King, has gone back into the ocean. And uh, certainly you can check the National Marine Life Center's website and Facebook posts. And I'm sure they're happy to update you folks on uh, Sealfin's progress. Have a great Veterans Day, everyone.